Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pittsburgh Steam Station. I'm your host, Miss Blake, and your co-host. Hi, I'm Miss Unger. Today, I hope that you're ready for a very fun Steam Challenge. Oh, hi, hi Miss Blake. I was just busy looking up at the sky trying to see if I could find the moon. Did you know that sometimes you can see the moon in the daytime, even though it's not dark out? That's because the sunlight reflects off the moon and then we can see it in the sky. It's the same thing that happens in the nighttime, but you just don't notice it as often. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wish there was a way for us to explore the moon. I know, right? Astronauts are scientists that can travel to the moon. They explore the moon's surface by going up there in a spaceship. That's true. Did you know that the first people landed on the moon in 1969 in a spacecraft called Apollo? <laughs> you know, I'm really interested in doing a space-themed STEAM challenge. What do you think, Miss Unger? I sure would. We have a special guest today back again to teach us another challenge. Everybody, welcome Mrs. Sparrow. Hello, this is Mrs. Sparrow, and today you and I are going to pretend that we're astronauts and that we're going to travel to another planet. So our goal is to build a prototype, which means a small model of a space lander that we're gonna use for our travels. For this activity, you'll need paper or note cards, a small plastic cup, scissors and tape, something that you can use as astronauts, like small toys, and random materials to act as shock absorbers on your space lander. So first we have to take our note card or a piece of paper, and this is going to be our base. So if you're using a piece of paper, you can use the full sheet of paper, but I would recommend cutting it to the size of maybe a, an adult's hand or your hand. I decorated my base too. Then I'm gonna take my cup and I'm going to tape it onto my base. And this is where the astronauts will be seated. So for my astronauts, I thought it would be nice if I could find some little mini Lego figures, but since we can't go out of our homes, I didn't have any to use. Um, I decided to use two shells, and they're seashells from the beach the last time I went on vacation. So these are going to be my astronaut, and the challenge is to put those astronauts in this cup and don't secure them. Don't tie them down. Don't tape them down. Just put them inside. So now here we are using our imagination. This is our space lander. We're taking off and maybe we're going to visit the planet or Jupiter today and we're traveling and we're traveling. You and I are talking and having fun and then all of a sudden it's time to land on Jupiter. Oh no, did you see what happened? One of the astronauts fell. They fell out of the space lander. I'll tell you why they fell out of the space lander. Let me take my astronauts out. My space lander hit the table with a harsh thump. So what I need to do is add shock absorbers to the bottom of my base. Shock absorbers are things like we have in our mattresses so that when we jump into our mattress, the springs allow us to just bounce a little bit before we lay flat and secure. So for the bottom of my space lander, I collected a, quite a few items. If you have a hot glue gun, you could probably glue some cotton balls to the bottom of it just to make it a little springy. If you have marshmallows, I saw this on YouTube, you could put a marshmallow on the bottom of a straw and then glue that to make your shock, shock absorbers. Or if we don't have any of those items, don't worry. We can use our note cards and paper.
So now, when my space lander hits the ground or a table, it's going to spring a little bit. So, put my astronauts back in, and I'm ready for takeoff number two. Have fun, good luck creating your space lander. What a fun challenge. Did you have fun building your space lander? Mine, unfortunately, my astronauts kept falling out, but don't fear, I never gave up and I made sure to continue to try to fix it. This project sure helped me think more about outer space. I think I would be too afraid to go in a spaceship to the moon, but doing an activity like this here on Earth sure was fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.